I'm not much of a basketballer. I don't think I've ever had a desire to master basketball. But I'll tell you what, I've had the desire to master life. And let me, let me just explain to you the analogy, the, the, the similarity between basketball and life. Right? So I'm not very good at basketball, but I do want to achieve mastery in life. And I realized, I'm playing basketball right now and I'm playing on my own, right? So I'm just shooting, shooting some hoops, right? Yeah? And I'm enjoying myself. But it's a one dimension game, it's a single dimension game. It's me on my own playing this amazing game called basketball, right? Now I could enhance the experience by getting somebody else involved. So I could maybe invite one of my friends and play the same game, but take it to the next dimension. So instead of me playing by myself, I'm playing with somebody else. And because it's a second dimension game, the experience is different. I could then play a third dimension game, right? So I could go, you know what? I want to take the experience to the next level. So I want to now get a team, right? So I can get a team, a friendly match maybe with my, with my team and my friend's team, and then we're playing the same game basketball that we were playing before, but now we've gone to the next dimension, dimension three. And so the experience at dimension three is completely different to the experience in dimension two and dimension one, right? I could play this game basketball at dimension four and that would be that instead of playing on my own or playing with a friend or playing in teams I could play it competitively so I could play with a team and, and they've, they've got a team and I've got a team but this time there is a trophy to be won and they're spectators and so the same game basketball but the fourth dimension and the fourth dimension the experience is so much more than the first dimension right and so why do I talk about this, right? I talk about this to, to show you the similarity between life and basketball. You know, life is life, but there's different dimensions to the game. And so many people are playing at dimension one, right? They have the, the minimal experience, right? They have minimum diversity in what they're experiencing. They have minimum challenges. They have minimum knowledge. And they're playing the game of life, but it's at a very low dimension. It's dimension one. Can you enjoy yourself at dimension one? Yeah, you sure you can, right? I'm having a great time right now, jumping, you know, just playing just shooting hoops on my own. But I tell you, if I could get somebody to play with me right now, I think the experience would be massively enhanced. And if I could play this in a team, then that would be even better, right? And if I could play this sport competitively, awesome. And I may not be doing that in basketball, but I'm trying to do that in life. And so the question is, what dimension are you playing at? And why are you not stepping into the next dimension? Because the game of life just gets better and better at the next dimension. Thanks for watching.